The funeral was on the same day the city is honoring Chicago firefighter Jermaine Pelt. He died in a house fire in West Pullman one day before Lieutenant Torek was stricken. CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live in Oakland where hundreds are lined up for his visitation now. Jermont. Erica and Jim, slow moving traffic here along 103rd and Cicero in Oakland as that visitation for Chicago firefighter Jermaine Peltz is underway. There's been a steady stream of mourners coming into this funeral home all afternoon. Firefighter Peltz was 49 years old and spent 18 years serving the city. Last Tuesday morning, he and his engine company responded, as you mentioned, to that house fire in West Pullman. Yet Pelt would not return. Today, fellow firefighters, family, and friends are filing into this Oakland funeral home to honor a man who truly, they say, cared about the community. And today, the community is showing just how much they appreciate his ultimate sacrifice. Among those out, Juan Cayentano. Take a look. He handcrafted this memorial wood plaque. Pelt's face is etched in the wood, along with his badge number and last alarm. The artist presenting this to Pelt's family as a token of love. So I want to represent what my family feels about the hard work that the firefighters do every day. So this is it. Thank you so much for being there, firefighters and the free responders. You guys are not alone. Thank you. And you can see outside that Commissioner Anant Nance Holt is just arriving. And in about 30 minutes from now, there will be a formation outside the funeral home with the rank and file um, and also with uh, Chicago Police Department. They will go inside, salute their fallen brother, but also pay respects to his family. Most definitely a sad day, no doubt, for the Chicago Fire Department and the city of Chicago. Reporting live in Oak Lawn, I'm Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Jermont. Pelt's funeral will be held tomorrow at the House of Hope in West Roseland at 11 a.m. We will carry it live here on CBS 2 and on our digital streaming network, CBS News Chicago.